Good day everyone, this is Jake Pomperada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. In this tutorial video, we will learn how to create a Visual Basic .NET program that will ask the user to give two numbers and then our program will display before and after swapping of two numbers before we start. If you like this video, click the like button, leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial, and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials. So let's get started. We have here right now a form 1 in our visualbasic.net. The first thing that we'll do is that we will go to the properties window here and then we will type the title of a program swapping of two numbers in bb.net this is the title of our program the next step is I would like to adjust the length of our form after which we will go to our toolbox and then I will select a label and then drag to our form in our label one we will change this one to into the word uh, enter first value this will accept a first num value from the user that is a number integer okay the font is qu is much smaller so I will try to make it bigger in, uh, in the font section of our properties let's say for example I will change the font font style so in this case I will cho choose Arial and then the font style regular and then the font size will be 12 now after we have done that I will what I will do is to mark this one this label one copy and then paste for the second input from the user okay so what I will do is just to change the word first into second press the enter key okay so the next step is we will go back to the text box and then we will select a toolbox rather another text box uh, text box now in the text box text box one we will change the font from the default Microsoft Sans Serif we will go to Arial similar to our label regular and then the size will be 12 click OK I will control C control V copy okay so we will move the second label okay so we have already two labels and then we have also two text box that will accept two numbers from our user the next step I will copy this label paste here and then I will change the text content into before swapping of values sorry I forgot to put s before swapping of values and then I will copy this text box for this portion Okay. I'll try to make it much longer the text box here for display I will copy this also this label and then I will try to adjust again the form 
instead of before I will change is to after swapping of values and then I will copy this text box okay so here we'll adjust we will go back to our tool box and then select a button in this button let's say for example we will have the word ok and then we will change the font type into Arial and then we will have the font style bold to emphasize ok next I will copy this ok button and then I will change this, this one into clear to clear the text box and then we have here also another I will copy again by this time the third button we will have the quit button so in the quit button we can simply double click it and then put a command end to terminate the program let us go back here in the ok button so we will double click that and then I will declare a series of variable to be specific we will declare three variable a b and c as integer so in variable a we will assign val because the text box by nature is, is a string text box one point text I will copy this one again we will have b text box two so uh, I will call Ah, we will go back here to identify before swapping text box 3 ok so text select text box 3 point text equals the double quotation the value of a equals ampersand a and b equals ampersand b okay this portion before we will put a comment swapping of to numbers okay swapping code of two numbers in this comment section we will perform the swapping of two numbers so <coughs> variable c equals variable a uh, variable a equals variable b and then variable b equals variable c we are using a third variable to swap <coughs> the arrangement of two values of variable a and variable b so after we have done I will copy this again and then paste the purpose of copying is to save us time no? and effort after swapping of two values so here we will assign to text box 4 okay so let us go back here save our work and then the clear text box we will double click so text box 1 point text equals mm, text box 2 we will have clear 
uh, we'll copy this to we will have here text box 3 text box 4 and then we will have text box 1 focus okay we will clear the text box and then the cursor will focus on text box 1 this code will clear the four text boxes now uh, let us check our program let us click this uh, this button to run let's say for example 15 and 20 we will click the ok button ok so we have the result that we are expecting with the value of a is 15 before swapping of values and and b is 20 after swapping of values the value of a is already 20 instead of 15 and then the value of variable b becomes 15 so we will click the clear button okay so we can assign a new values here well 200 and 300 the first value in this example is 200 and then the second value will be 300 click the ok button okay so before swapping of values the original value of variable a is 200 and then the original value of variable b is 300 after the swapping of values the value of a becomes 300 and then the value of variable b becomes 200 so i hope guys that you have learned something new in this tutorial swapping of two numbers in vb.net or visualbasic.net so if you like this video tutorial please click the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more video, uh, video tutorials now before we end when we click the quit button it will the program will be terminated and then it will return to our code thank you very much guys until to the next video bye bye for now